The Voyager probes have changed space research in a revolutionary way, reshaping how we see our place among the stars. These robotic explorers launched from Earth in 1977 and, more than 45 years later, continue their journey through the deep, dark interstellar space beyond the solar system. Their onboard computers are very small and they send data very slowly by modern standards, yet their persistence in the cold cosmic wilderness has made them legendary. NASA engineers originally expected each probe to operate for only a few years, but the voyages have far outlived all expectations. Each probe has now traveled tens of billions of kilometers and has sent back priceless knowledge from regions where starlight is just a faint glow. They have become symbols of human curiosity and endurance. Voyager 1 launched on September 5, 1977 from Cape Canaveral, Florida, aboard a Titan rocket. Voyager 2 had lifted off just 13 days earlier. The original mission was simple, study the giant planets of the solar system. Voyager 1 took a fast track to reach Jupiter and Saturn first, while Voyager 2 had a longer route that would carry it on past those worlds to even more distant planets. Both probes used each planet's gravity to slingshot themselves farther out into space. In this way, the spacecraft set off on a grand tour of the solar system, capturing breathtaking images of giant worlds, rings, and moons that no one had seen before. At Jupiter, the Voyager probes revealed hidden wonders. They saw the swirling storms and colored bands in Jupiter's huge atmosphere with amazing clarity. The Great Red Spot, a giant storm on Jupiter, was captured in detail for the first time. The probes even discovered that Jupiter has a faint ring system of its own, and they photographed dozens of small moons orbiting the giant planet. One of the biggest surprises was Io, a moon that was erupting lava fountains hundreds of miles high. Io proved to be the most volcanically active world in our solar system. The cameras also spotted cracks and ridges on Europa that hinted at a vast liquid ocean under its icy surface. These discoveries showed that distant moons could be very active and changing worlds. At Saturn, the voyagers sent back stunning pictures of the planet's rings and moons. Saturn's rings, made of ice and rock, were shown to have intricate gaps and divisions that surprised scientists. The spacecraft also examined Saturn's largest moon, Titan, which is wrapped in a thick orange atmosphere. Voyager 1 flew past Titan and saw clouds of organic smog, but its camera could not see the surface through the haze. During its flyby, Voyager 1 also discovered a surprising weather pattern, a six-sided jet stream around Saturn's North Pole, a giant hexagon of winds that was previously unknown. Even from millions of miles away, the probes returned sharp images of Saturn's disk, its rings, and many of its moons. This proved that they could photograph worlds in great detail across the solar system. Voyager 2 then went even further. It became the first and only spacecraft to fly by Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. At Uranus, it discovered ten new moons and a set of faint rings, and it found that Uranus spins on its side. The probe also studied Uranus's tilted magnetic field and atmosphere. In 1989, Voyager 2 reached Neptune and took the first close-up photos of this distant blue planet. The images showed Neptune's deep blue color and revealed the great dark spot, a massive storm as large as Earth's diameter. Voyager 2 also discovered that Neptune has a system of rings and measured winds blowing over 2,000 km per hour, the strongest in the solar system. The probe also observed plumes shooting from the icy surface of Neptune's largest moon, Triton, where cold nitrogen geysers sprayed into space. In 1990, as Voyager 1 was leaving the solar system, it did something very special. 
NASA commanded it to turn around and take a picture of Earth from 4 billion miles away. In that image, called the pale blue dot, Earth appears as a tiny speck of light in the vastness of space. That single photograph became iconic because it shows our world's fragility and smallness. Astronomer Carl Sagan famously called it the pale blue dot in his book, using it to remind us how delicate and precious our planet is in the cosmic ocean. After completing the grand tour of the planets, the Voyager probes began a new mission beyond our sun's neighborhood. They studied the outer reaches of our star's influence, measuring the stream of charged particles known as the solar wind as it flows outward from the sun. In 2003, Voyager 1 crossed the termination shock where the solar wind slows down. In 2012, Voyager 1 reached the heliopause, the edge of the sun's influence, and entered true interstellar space. Voyager 2 made the same crossing in 2018. They are now the farthest human-made objects from Earth, traveling into the unknown depths of our galaxy. Once in interstellar space, Voyager 1's instruments recorded dramatic changes. The probe detected a sharp rise in cosmic rays and galactic particles, about twice the levels measured inside the Sun's bubble. Voyager 2 saw similar jumps when it crossed the heliopause in 2018. These measurements marked humanity's first direct sampling of interstellar space. The Voyagers also found that magnetic fields in interstellar space are stronger than those near Earth. But these massive dishes and sensitive receivers can pick up the tiny signal. Each time data arrives, it is like receiving a message from the edge of our cosmic neighborhood. Today, more than 45 years later, the Voyager spacecraft still send data but their power is very low. Each probe carries a small nuclear generator, but it loses about 4 watts of electricity every year. To conserve power, NASA engineers routinely turn off non-essential systems and instruments. For example, Voyager 1's plasma detector was shut off years ago, and Voyager 2's magnetometer was recently switched off. Originally, each probe was expected to last only a few years, but careful power management means they may keep working well into the 2030s. Each faint signal they send back is a small victory for science. For now, the Voyagers still return useful measurements of plasma, magnetic fields, and cosmic dust in deep space, even as their power slowly fades. Even now, the Voyager probes can surprise us. In 2022, Voyager 1 started sending confusing signals from its attitude control system, which points the antenna at Earth. The data made the spacecraft seem confused about its orientation. This did not stop the probe from working, but it puzzled engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Each command to the probe takes about 20 hours to travel, so fixing problems is very slow. The team eventually solved the issue by switching parts of the system off and on to reroute its signals, restoring normal communication. This episode was a reminder that even simple old hardware can produce new puzzles in deep space. It also shows the dedication of the engineers who keep the voyages working against the odds. One truly unique feature of the Voyager mission is the pair of golden records attached to each spacecraft. Each record is a gold-plated copper disc that carries sounds and images from Earth. These include spoken greetings in dozens of languages, music ranging from Bach and Beethoven to folk songs and rock and roll, and natural sounds like birds, thunder, and whale calls. They even recorded a human heartbeat and a baby's cry to show the range of life on Earth. The records contain pictures of people, nature, and landmarks from around the globe. For example, one recording is Chuck Berry's song Johnny B. Good, and another is Mozart's Jupiter Symphony. Famed astronomer Carl Sagan helped design the records, 
and they have been called the greeting to the cosmos. As the voyagers move through the galaxy, they carry a piece of humanity with them. If another civilization ever finds these spacecraft, the golden records will tell them something about us. In this way, the voyagers remind us that space exploration is not just about collecting data, but also about reaching out and communicating with the universe. The legacy of the Voyager mission is immense. It has changed how we understand the solar system and inspired generations of scientists and engineers. Before Voyager, many of the planets and moons were just dots in the sky. By the end of the mission, images and data from the Voyagers had rewritten textbooks around the world. We learned that moons thought to be dead could be active and even have oceans under ice. These discoveries led to whole new missions. For example, Cassini was sent to explore Saturn after Voyager hinted that its moon Enceladus might have water. Juno was later sent to study Jupiter up close because Voyager showed how complex the planet really is. The idea that life could exist on other worlds was energized by Voyager. People around the world were inspired by the Voyager's pictures and stories. The mission proved that exploration can happen without people aboard and that even simple instruments can make world-changing discoveries. Voyager helped create a sense of unity on Earth. All of humanity was exploring together in spirit. The Voyager story also proves that creativity and hard work can overcome the vast distances of space. These spacecraft ventured far beyond their original goals, showing that even the most distant frontiers can be reached with human ingenuity. Their success has encouraged the development of more advanced telescopes and probes, like the James Webb Space Telescope and new missions to the outer planets and beyond. Even now, new space missions follow in the path these probes carved. Because of Voyager, we feel inspired to push further and plan missions that will search for life and understand the universe in ways we never imagined before. For engineers and scientists, the voyages are proof that even simple, robust designs can last for decades. They operate on technology from the 1970s and yet still work today, giving us confidence in future spacecraft designs. The voyages will continue to teach us humility and hope. They remind us that humanity can reach into the unknown and that our efforts today will echo for generations. Even as new technologies emerge, the Voyager's pioneering journey will never be forgotten. The Voyagers continue their journey out into the galaxy long after their creators are gone. They carry our dreams, our data, and our greetings into the great unknown. Each transmission they send back unites people on Earth in wonder. Even if no other civilization ever hears their message, the journey changes those of us here at home. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.